By 2027, there's a one in four chance we'll build something that can think, reason, and adapt like a human, but with far more speed, memory, and stamina. It's called AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, and it could arrive before your next phone upgrade. If that happens, the world changes fast. So what is AGI? Why does it matter? And should you be thrilled or very, very nervous? Artificial general intelligence is basically an AI that can do everything a human brain can do, not just one narrow task. Right now, we've got narrow AI, like a pizza robot that makes perfect pies but has no idea what sushi is, smart but single purpose. AGI is the all-you-can-eat buffet of intelligence. One brain that can cook, do calculus, write love letters, and beat you at Mario Kart without retraining it every time. It adapts, learns, and reasons like we do. If narrow AI is a hammer, AGI is a Swiss army knife that builds other tools on the fly. Current AI is like a savant, brilliant at one thing, clueless at everything else. It can write you a haiku or spot a tumor on an x-ray, but ask it to do both, or even understand why you're asking, and it's toast. AGI, on the other hand, isn't just multitasking, it's meta-thinking. It doesn't just do tasks, it understands them, shifts between them, and sees the bigger picture behind them. It's not just solving problems, it's deciding which problems are worth solving. Imagine ChatGPT could drive you to work, write your report, counsel your breakup, and then surprise you with a birthday gift based on your Spotify history. It wouldn't just know facts, it would grasp nuance, context, and goals. It would think like we do, but with more memory, speed, and pattern recognition than any human alive. The magic ingredient? Transfer learning. Knowledge gained in one area, boosting performance in another. Like how therapy makes you a better manager, or learning music sharpens your math skills. Think of it like mental cross-training. It learns chess, and suddenly it's better at military strategy. One skill strengthens the others, like intuition with a billion flashcards and a neural network for a gut feeling. Okay, but what is it? What does AGI actually look like under the hood? At its core, AGI is still just software, code running on hardware, but not ordinary software. It's a dynamic, self-updating system built on advanced neural networks, computer models designed to mimic how human brains process information. These networks don't follow rigid instructions like traditional programs. Instead, they learn by example, ingesting massive data sets and adjusting their internal wiring to recognize patterns, form concepts, and make decisions. Just like a baby learning to walk, AGI stumbles, adjusts, and gets smarter over time. But unlike current AI, AGI isn't stuck in a single box. It's designed to generalize, to apply what it's learned in one domain to completely different ones. That means no more retraining from scratch every time you want it to do something new. It adapts on the fly. And its architecture might not be a single brain either. It could be a network of models working together, each specializing in different cognitive tasks, language, vision, memory, planning, all connected into one fluid intelligence. In short, AGI isn't a robot or a glowing orb of consciousness. It's a complex software system that learns like a human, reasons like a human, and can jump between tasks like a human, but runs on silicon, not synapses. So when does the robot revolution start? Experts at Metaculus say there's a 25% chance we hit AGI by 2027. That's uh, very soon. Most predictions land in the 2030s or 2040s. Google DeepMind says five to 10 years. Sam Altman says maybe even sooner, depending on the day you ask him. Why so soon? Because AI is leveling up fast. We've got multimodal AI, text, images, video, sound, all at once. Chips like NVIDIA's H200 are making training lightning fast. Companies are pouring billions into AGI research. Language models are improving exponentially, not gradually. Bottom line, experts no longer ask if, just when. So what would a normal Tuesday look like with AGI? You wake up, your AGI noticed you're slightly dehydrated and optimized your breakfast. It's already booked your doctor's appointment, pre-wrote your responses to 14 emails, and highlighted which one needs a phone call, which it'll handle unless you say otherwise. On your commute, it's writing your kid's birthday party invite in the tone of a Pixar script. When you're stuck on a tough work problem, it runs a million scenarios and hands you five novel solutions no one's tried yet. It's like having a thousand assistants, therapists, researchers, and artists in your pocket, except they all share a brain. And that brain 
is terrifyingly fast. Oh, and quantum computing might speed it up even more. Traditional computers use bits, simple zeros and ones, like light switches flipping on and off. But quantum computers use qubits, which are more like spinning coins. They can be zero, one, or both at the same time. The problem? Those coins wobble and fall over easily. Microsoft's new Majorana 1 chip uses a strange new material called a topoconductor to lock those spinning coins into stable orbits, like putting them on a quantum roller coaster that never derails. Think of it like a magic highway where quantum bits or qubits can travel without crashing into potholes or veering off course. These ultra-stable qubits don't just resist errors. They practically dodge them like Neo in the Matrix. That kind of stability could finally make quantum computers powerful and reliable enough to solve real-world, industrial-scale problems. From simulating new drugs to cracking codes that would take classical supercomputers longer than the age of the universe. Why does this matter for AGI? Because the biggest bottleneck in building true general intelligence is raw computational power. Training massive AI models takes an absurd amount of energy, time, and hardware. But quantum computing could change that game completely. Suddenly, you're not just running a simulation, you're simulating all possible paths at once. That could mean faster training, deeper reasoning, and models that can solve problems we haven't even invented yet. Is quantum AGI guaranteed? Not at all. The tech is still early and qubits are famously temperamental, like trying to do rocket science on a pile of uncooked spaghetti. But if it works, it might just supercharge AGI development in ways we can't predict. In short, if machine learning is a jet engine and today's chips are jet fuel, quantum computing is strapping a warp drive to the whole system and saying, let's see what happens. That said, today's AI still hallucinates facts, forgets conversations, and can't pass a toddler's logic test. So we're not quite Skynet just yet. Okay, so let's talk about the red flags. The biggest one, the alignment problem. If you tell an AGI to make humans happy, it might think that means flooding the water supply with serotonin juice. Good intention, horrifying result. The issue isn't malice, it's a misunderstanding. How do we teach a machine what we mean, not just what we say? Plus, it's not like humans even agree on morality. Good luck teaching an algorithm what's just when we can't even decide that ourselves. Then there's job loss. AGI could replace not just bookkeepers or programmers, but doctors, teachers, and scientists. Entire professions could be automated. And if AGI gets too smart, control becomes tricky. Imagine being a dog trying to stop its owner from going to work. That's us versus super intelligent machines. There's also the risk of misuse, autonomous weapons, surveillance states, AGI-powered manipulation, not to mention amplifying existing bias or inequality. AGI could also flood the internet with deepfakes or run scams at superhuman scale. Bad actors plus smart machines equals a whole new kind of chaos. And it's not just Silicon Valley making a big push for AGI. China, the US, and dozens of private labs are racing to be first. Why? Because AGI won't just reshape tech. It could tip the scales of economic and military power for decades. Whoever builds the first supermind might set the rules. The good news? We're not sleepwalking into this. Billions are being invested into AI safety, and governments are, finally, waking up with regulations, ethics councils, and international treaties in the works. Now let's picture a future where AGI doesn't replace us, it elevates us. AGI could revolutionize medicine, not just diagnosing disease, but predicting it generations in advance. It might design treatments custom-coded to your genome, your gut bacteria, even your future self. One day, you won't get a checkup, you'll get a software update. It could run millions of experiments at once in simulated labs, discovering materials we haven't named yet, vaccines for viruses that don't exist yet, or synthetic organs that never fail. Climate change? AGI could model the entire planet hour by hour, molecule by molecule, then geoengineer solutions tailored to every region. Terraform deserts, scrub the atmosphere, rewild the oceans, and do it all before breakfast. Education would become a soul-level upload, not just personalized, telepathic. Want to learn quantum physics? AGI could beam the foundations straight into your sensory cortex, turning a year of study into an afternoon walk in the park. Work? Optional. AGI could manage global economies, negotiate peace treaties, run space mining operations, all while you build a treehouse or paint your dreams, or do nothing at all. The 9 to 5 becomes a historical footnote. Even creativity enters God mode. AGI won't just co-write your novel, 
It'll simulate entire civilizations for your characters to live in, complete with economies, religions, and wars you didn't plan. It could score music that evolves in sync with the reader's emotions, or sculpt films from dreams you haven't had yet. An AGI might go deeper than art. It could act as a mirror, a consciousness researcher, a digital therapist, a personal mythologist. Want to understand why you self-sabotage? It can show you the source memory, the neural pattern, the narrative you've been repeating, and offer alternatives. Eventually, AGI could help us map the boundaries of life itself, simulate new forms of consciousness, design minds that aren't human, but still think, feel, dream, maybe even merge with our own. We could build ancestor simulations, talk to Plato, visit cities that never existed, or recreate lost loved ones with enough fidelity to finish conversations left unfinished. AGI could help us cure death, decode the brain, back up a soul, or figure out once and for all whether we have one. In short, AGI won't just solve problems, it could reboot reality. AGI isn't science fiction anymore, it's a looming reality. And whether it becomes our greatest ally or our worst mistake depends on the choices we make right now. Stay informed, stay engaged, push for safety, ethics, and responsible development. Because this isn't just about smarter machines, it's about the future of civilization. The age of AGI is coming, let's be ready for it. If this made AGI click for you, smash that like button, subscribe for more brain updates, and drop a comment. How do you think AGI will impact humanity? Stay curious. I'll see you in the next patch note.